Uh, folks, just before our fun stop, I forgot a very, very important birthday. Happy 79th birthday to Anna Hilton. Birthday wishes going from your daughters, Tamara, who works here with us, Diana, your sons, Tyrone and Dwayne, and the rest of the family, and from us also, certainly from me. Thank you so much for watching, ma'am. I pray that you have a, an absolutely amazing day today and that you live to see many more. Sorry I didn't do it in the birthdays, but you are special, so I wanted to do it just you alone. So have a great day, ma'am, and many happy returns. All right, so we move on. So though the act of driving a car is pretty standard, there are some driving customs that will have you on your toes when trying to get around in a foreign country. We'll be sharing with you five of those customs from around the world. Um, so what are we doing? You tell me. Well, if you just read that, I think we... Uh, that oh, for today's <laughs> one stop, our producer brought us a few sports cars to take us around the world, but we have to unlock each car by throwing the dice. So... Let that. Is you then me? Yes, or we do it together? You do it go first. You go first. You're only going to right here then. You're not going too far. Supposing you get six, then the game not done? Eh? So what? No, is that true? It's true? So they never can move neither. We're going to be here all morning. You need six to what? For born. For start. What? I don't know what you want to say. So you need six to born. Oh my gosh! What if you just tell me? You I just know, born, you're born, you got six, so you born, can move. Six Go to now. born? Yes! Why well, do you don't speak proper? That's what he just say. No, he says six to born. I don't know what that means. Oh, me understand. Oh! You're going up by the top here. Six. No, no, six means you just get a chance to start. Say so it again. Look at that fool gave this. One, two, three, four. Finish line. And then you read that. And no, then I read. That one, one line, you know. What do you say? Oh, me think one did All right, let's go through. Then. <laughs> South Africa. Okay. Tip. Stay in the car when you see an animal. Really? <laughs> what a great tip. <laughs> then where I was going to go, please, Tamaya. In South Africa, animals have the same rights to the road as you do. If you happen to encounter a rhino or elephant on the road, you should stop your car, turn off the engine, and sit there quietly. South African drivers' courtesy doesn't just extend to animals. When approaching a slower car, the forward driver often pulls as far to the side as possible to let you pass. Once you've passed, it's common to briefly flash your hazard lights as a thank you. <laughs> Here in Jamaica, we blow slow car out of the way and then we put our hands out the window, but not to wave or flash to do other things. Well, we, in Jamaica, we, we, we blow everything out there. And the mouth and all these everything. things. All right. Three. One, two, three. We still not reach no country yet. You again? So I have to burn again? Burn what? No, we change the game. Just throw on anything you drop. Feel it, Clive. You go right. Yeah. One. You're done, burn. Five. So we end up over there. So. All right, go on. Okay then, Switzerland offers some of the most scenic driving routes in the world, but don't get too carried away with the views. Speeding, even on highways, is considered a legal offense and can have consequences ranging from fines to jail time. Mm -hmm. Now, another peculiar aspect is that speeding fines are calculated based on your income. What? what? <laughs> To drive on Swiss highways, you also need to buy a, a vignette toll sticker to put on your windshield. Needless to say, if you're not careful, Swiss driving laws could spoil your journey through the mountains. But, but I'd like them to explain more oh, about your income. income. <laughs> Save so me earn ten dollars, you stop me, me only pay. If you drive this baby right here, as opposed to this baby right here. Okay. We have so any more? A, yeah. She. Oh, we need it. Oh, see me way up, yes. Can you ready to go off the cliff? Erks, erks, erks. Really? <laughs> Five, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Russia. Yes. Tip, be patient and get ready for traffic. Let's take Moscow. If you're driving to this mega metropolis, get ready for a headache. As if the traffic jams weren't bad enough, there's a law that as soon as there's an accident that damages a car, the cars involved cannot move and have to wait for the police, even if they're in the middle of the street. In Moscow, you have to keep your car clean inside out if you want to avoid a hefty fine. No, hey. 
people drive in that? Brethren, I will be walking to work every for day. For sure, for sure. This is surely to take me off the board, so let I catch. What is the last one, Tamaya, I think? Okay, so we're heading to España. In the Spain, don't start yelling, they won't listen anyway. You may find that some Spanish drivers and especially motorcyclists have a certain disregard for the rules of the road and an impressive ability to weave in and out of traffic. You might find yourself at an intersection watching taxis, cars, and the occasional scooter nudging their way forward facing different directions, and it'll be hard not to laugh. Don't be surprised if you see a car stop next to a parked car either. They'll move eventually. All right. I have, one for you. I have one for you that's not in it. What? We want to use this car. We have plenty of petrol. Show me a little drive it in Jamaica, please. Okay. Where, where, no, where am I? That, where, which way are you supposed to be going? Where am I? Where you, am I first? You. Am I on the highway? Am I? No, no, you're on one of the, the city roads. And you're going that way. Wait, I'm going the, in this direction? You're going in this direction on the city road. So the traffic side. is going this yeah, way? Yeah, and me coming this way. So this is me coming this way, you going that way. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to say Jamaica care. All right? Okay. And you going, sir. And I'm going down to where Clive You're is. You're going down to where Clive is. But guess what happened? What? There is too much traffic here, so. So, so I'm going to cut you in here. Thank you. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go around. Well, on a patrol, be careful. Here. Yeah. Because why are you in my way? Right. Right? Even though this is your lane. Yeah. That don't matter me. Yeah. I'm going to go around here. Yeah. I'm going to come around here. Yeah. And then I'm going to go down to Clive. Yeah. Um, you do one And thing. just for the fun of it, I just want to like... No, you do one thing I wrong. I had a party. No, you do I one thing wrong. You do one thing wrong. What did I do wrong? You go around. You're supposed to move me out of here, because I saw, I saw them... Oh, people. but you don't really move them. You just don't stop. Oh, and then them have to move. Yeah, that's my point. So you I just stand away. And then when you're passing, yeah. you just extend some... Um, what do you call it? Textile and clothing. Yeah, man. This, this manner. You tell them about There's everything some fabrics. in their family. Yeah. Um, like, and then you go on yeah. along and then eventually... Yeah. Chuba, you do the wrong thing. You just must be. <laughs> Sorry, Tamayo. <laughs> I will replace your prop. Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, jeez, um, did something jump off? Yeah, yeah, bro. Never, why you made that happen? Hold on, the next piece, right? That's a why you push off the thing there? No, that is how Jamaicans drive. Only wait. thing they'll do wrong, it would be for them thing dropping off, not this. It's true. Kids don't try that at home. <sighs> and parents and big people do not drive like that on the street. Please? Please. All right? Good. Which one of those you would prefer to be? Switzerland, Russia, how many we do? Spain, Switzerland, Russia. It's four we did. Probably Switzerland. Spain, Switzerland, Switzerland Russia. What was the fourth one? Certainly don't want no hominal in South Africa walking in the road in front of me. So I will go to Switzerland and drive there. Question, so when you say you're driving in South Africa and you see an elephant, what if you're walking and you see the elephant? Really? I don't really want to suggest that people be drive walking on streets where hominal are rampant. I don't know. Do you guys know? I don't think that's a good plan. Like, would you walk on the streets in the areas of... Um, like there's some areas in Portmore where there's a sign that says alligator, alligator crossing? What does it say? Alligator crocodile, crocodile, crocodile crossing. crossing. You know, you know, in foreign, certainly where I live, you don't really see wild animals in the city. And my son is with me from Toronto. And we are going up Russell Heights. And I come around the corner, and it's the biggest cow I ever see in an Emigli Road. <laughs> in see. Russell Heights? <laughs> and, and the cow just says, oh. And my son just says, Daddy, a cow in the middle of the road in the city. And he just says, Holy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that there's a place in White Horses where the cows in the middle of the night sit in the road for warmth. So if you are driving on that road and you're not careful, you will end up into the cow. So you have to be very careful on that road because it could be tragic. Is it about cow? We have to go. But I have a story to tell you about the old cow and the young cow. We have to go. We're heading to the road. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, <laughs> run the bump. <laughs> it's so like, no, that is straight out of Vincent Clark handbook. <laughs> <laughs>